Okay, so now the next step is to put the bracing in. Bracing is very simple. Um, basically, it's as simple as uh, selection and insertion. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to go to TSD members and go to bracing. Now, there are two braces in the library to which we're going to select from. There is a left and a right. So, when I click on the left and select the life left diagonal, that'll put a brace in for me. I'll also select the right, put a brace in for me. And the left and the right is actually determined where you are in uh, respect to the model. So in this case, if I'm looking on this side, that's left and that's right. So if I select the left, and then the right. point you'll notice there are some red issues associated to the models. Just do a control Q and then open up the, each model and go control Q that'll update it and a save and you'll notice that uh, it will repair itself just by getting control Q and a save and on all three. And, and then when you get to the top level and you've done them all hit control Q and a save and, and then that'll all put it in place. Now what you'll also notice is that some of these members have been mated and in position and some haven't fully. So it means that we may need to add some mates. So if we click the front plane on that member and the front plane on that member and place a mate and make them parallel, that will lock that one in place, fix it in place and we also have to do the same thing with uh, the other brace which is uh, on the opposite side. And if we click the front plane and the front plane that will place that brace and lock it. So now everything is completely mated and fully defined. Now we haven't finished off with our braces. If we take a view looking front on, you'll notice that there are some cut sketches associated to how our braces function. Okay, so what we need to do is edit those sketches. So if we edit this sketch, these are already predefined and set up the way that we would normally detail them. You can set it up any way you like. This is just an example. So I'm just making that collinear with the end of that one. And while I'm at it, I'll do the same thing on this one. And I'm just removing the dimension that uh, defines it, and then I'm just making a relationship by holding the control key down and then making those two collinear. If I go down to the bottom on each one and edit the sketches there, I'll do the same thing. When I click the dimension and click the line and line and make them collinear, that will make the bolt connection work on both ends and also to this one if we right mouse click the sketch and edit the sketch, delete the dimension that's fixing it and make that to the, the two lines so that they're collinear and that will pretty much lock the bracing in place. Now we've thought about this a bit, so in the processes we've created a cope on the angle so that it wouldn't clash with the column, so that's nice and clean, as you can see, and likewise up the top, it's not coped in any way, shape or form, and you can see that there's clearances that have been put in place. Okay, so that does those two braces, so now we need to do the other two on the opposite side, which is around the back. Same process, edit the sketch. Because these are uh, defined by dimensions, same process again. We just continue doing doing this for each brace. When you got to that stage, do a Control Q rebuild. That'll update it. And you'll also notice that this brace is around the opposite side, which we can just grab the mates that uh, make it parallel and flip the mate. That puts the brace on the right side. 
Okay, so now we've got all our bracing on two sides set up. All we need to do now is just duplicate the braces from one side to the other. To do that, you can just select all the braces and just select the frame and isolate, which will make things a little easier so that you're not uh, seeing sketches on top of sketches. Okay, and position your sketch in such a way that you can uh, see everything. So I've just saved that then. Now I'm going to do what we call a duplicate member, which we've covered in uh, columns as well as members. Now the left brace on this side is going to be the same as the left brace on that side, uh, in the opposite sides. Because this is symmetrical, we're using the same braces. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing again, TSD members, duplicate, select the one on the opposite side, uh, which is the right side, to the right side. Do the same thing again, duplicate from the left side to the left side. Same thing again, duplicate from the right side to the right side. Okay, just make sure that everything is locked down in the right orientation and working. If we hit X, isolate, we have a look at our, our angles. Okay, so this angle here, that's completely right, that's fixed. This angle here needs to be flipped. So we click the mate, flip the mate. Okay, go back around to this side because we duplicated it on this side and you'll notice that these two need to be mated. So if you select the front plane and the front plane and click the mate parallel and then flip it, that puts that one in the right place. And the same for the other front plane and front plane and then mate parallel and then flip it and that sets it up on the right side and because they are the same braces essentially as what's on the other side um, the cuts and everything line up just as is now what you'll notice is that the brace that's on the side of where the flanges are there is a cope we don't need that cope so the best thing for us to do is to simply just suppress it by selecting the actual cut and suppressing the cut that's in play. Okay. And the same with the other one at the other end. Select the member, expand it out, select the cut. And removes the cut. What we also need to do is go in and check the drawings to make sure that they're okay on all these braces. To do that, we only need to select the first brace and go open drawing. That's updated. Okay. Zoom in on it and select the member, open that up, that's okay. Same with this one, open up the drawing on the section, that's okay. Open up the member, element member, that's okay. And now we go over to the other side, which is the other two braces, open up the section, that's okay. If you see dangling sketches there where that cope was, just uh, delete them because you won't be needing them anymore. And we need to open up that drawing. Oops, I don't want to do that. Make that virtual and then open up that drawing. That's okay. Um, need to move that out a bit. Did I do that on the other one? We'll check that as well while we're at it. Open drawing. Yep, that one's alright. And we'll open up this drawing for the brace, the weldman drawing. There it is. Let's move that out a bit the same thing on this one as well. Open up the drawing associated to that. Yep, move that in. Okay, so that's the brace drawings.